Welcome back to our tech troubleshooting series. Today, we're tackling a tricky issue that many developers encounter, the index not found exception. Our viewer has a jhipster generated project using an Elasticsearch Java client embedded in Spring Boot. After migrating a significant amount of data, everything works smoothly in the deployment environment. However, when running tests, they face a challenge with missing indices. Let's dive into the details and see how we can help resolve this issue. Welcome back to another technical video. Today I'll be going through your questions, answering them and hopefully finding that solution that you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy just like me and hopefully get to that resolution you need. Now, let's get started. Let's get in this video, we'll address the index not found exception in a jhipster project using Elasticsearch. Let's start by understanding the context. You've mentioned that after migrating new datasets, your application works fine in deployment, but fails in the test environment. This is a common issue when indices are not created properly. To troubleshoot, first check your reset index method. This method is responsible for deleting existing indices. If it's not functioning as expected, it could lead to the index not found exception. As a workaround, you can manually save the data in your test cases to ensure the indices are created. However, this should not be necessary if the reset index method works correctly. Finally, ensure that your application test.yml configuration is correct and matches your deployment settings. This can often resolve discrepancies between environments. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you're encountering an index not found exception, a good first step is to update to the latest version of Spring Data Elasticsearch. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your questions, and hopefully found that solution that you're looking for. If we did, please, hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.